When you're playing on Terror and Starvation or Hard Mode, the game activates something called Tough Enemy Mode that changes certain enemies and body parts. All of my strategies were written for the normal difficulty, Fear and Hunger. Most of them work on the harder difficulties, but I need to offer some small corrections for a few enemies. Prison Guard Arm HP jumps from 20 to 250. If you can't deal 250 damage to their left arm on the first turn, bring the Salmon Snake Soul or Arm Guards. Cave Mother's Torso jumps from 375 to 725 HP on the first phase, and from 325 to 625 on the second phase. If you try to defeat her torso in one round, you'll need to bring twice as much damage. Each of his parts except the loincloth jumps from 20 to 300 HP. If you want to kill him with AoEs, you'll need three murky vials and maybe an explosive vial on top of that if you roll low on damage. Make sure you can deal 300 damage in one round to the right arm or bring the salmon snake soul in a lot of healing. His left arm now has 40% evasion, and both arms jump from 20 to 300 HP. It's no longer worth targeting his arm. His arms and torso have more HP, but this won't affect the strategy. His torso jumps from 1250 to 1750 HP, but status effect damage jumps proportionally. You'll need to deal 350 damage to his torso to kill it after two status effects ticks, but no real change. His torso jumps from 560 to 1000 HP. You'll need to deal a lot more damage very quickly to fight him safely. His torso jumps from 575 to 800 HP. This doesn't affect the strategy aside from how much damage you need to deal before he attacks. Cave Dweller Warrior's torso jumps from 350 to 850. This doesn't affect the strategy. All three parts of the Black Witch have more HP. The arms jump from 20 to 400. You will either need to use Lake Sweep to destroy both arms, don't ask how that works, or use Marksmanship on the Overworld if you fight him in Mahabra. The innermost circle on his third phase jumps from 3000 to 5000 HP. This doesn't affect the strategy. Valtiel's face jumps from 3500 to 4500, and his brain loads jump from 2500 to 3500. This doesn't affect the strategy. Foreskin Grandmother's arms jump from 270 to 600 HP, and one of her legs turns into a fourth arm. You can no longer use any strategy that focuses on damaging her arms. You need to exclusively focus on her torso. Francois is still a complete joke that explodes if you show him that one smug Megamine image. Moonless Guard's torsos jump from 650 HP to 775. Their arms jump from 20 to 300. This doesn't affect the strategy aside from how much damage you need to deal. He's got the same changes as normal Chromaler. His torso jumps from 575 to 725, but this doesn't affect the strategy. Their torsos jump from 780 to 1560, so you almost always need to go for the head. Their arms and stingers jump to 500 HP. Their arms were previously 350, and the stinger was previously 400. Their torso jumps from 575 to 800. 
Since the previous strategy was never fight them, it's not worth it, the only change to the strategy is that you need to imagine me yelling that at full volume. To recap, the only real changes are you need a bigger weapon for prison guards, such as Ragenvalder's starting axe or Arse's starting spear. The old knight is now actually dangerous. You don't need to bother attacking a yellow mage's arm. You need to focus on foreskin grandmother's torso. The black witch requires leg sweep, marksmanship, or very high damage. And some enemies might take slightly longer to kill. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.